Welcome back to Manitoba Bushcraft and Survival, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, a little review on a, a wood sleeping pad. There we are, we, we got the wood sleeping pad. I do not know the dimensions on these. I picked them up at Wal- or no, not Walmart, Canadian Tire. Uh, they're around 40 bucks a piece. They're self-inflating, but never really inflate to full capacity you have to add some of your own breath in there um, and a big thing to note with these is if you're doing multi-day camps take it out of your tent stick it over it hang it over a tree or whatnot let it air out I would recommend rolling it and getting all the air out and then then doing that uh, because one of these we were on a multi-day camp and uh, Luckily, we were just uh, in the yard playing around, but uh, the one went moldy because uh, I never took it out of its spot. I left the sleeping bag on it and just let it sit there. And uh, yeah, over the course of like three days, it went moldy. So always air them out. Make sure there's no moisture in them. That's another reason to let the air out because if you're breathing your breath in there, there's going to be some moisture in them. And there's a piece of foam in there that doesn't probably what absorbs the moisture and cause the mold to accumulate in there. Um, comes with these two straps. I'm just one handing it on my cell phone like I usually do here. Okay. If I can find the dimensions of it, which I probably won't be able to because it was from Canadian Tire a few years back now. Um, I'll put them in the description, but I don't think so. Uh, so the main valve is on the corner here. It's sealed nicely the whole way around it. It seems like it's sealed pretty good. Open her up. Give her, I don't know, five minutes to inflate to what it's going to inflate to. And then uh, finish it off with your breath. And I'll just let that inflate. Okay, uh, this is it fully inflated. It is that thick. Um, I have tested them in cold weather too, and they're not too bad. Like, uh, I don't know what the R value is for them, but I'd say it's around three and a half to four, something like that. Uh, I just laid on it, and I'm six, six foot one, and I still had just a little bit above my head, so... A little bit of room, maybe about that that much room. So, so I'm guessing it's around six foot or six feet to uh, six foot one, somewhere around there, in length. And then uh, it's about that wide. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So, just to give you guys a reference, and once again, it's a woods insulated. Or no, that's in Insta Rest. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it said insulated. Anyhow, you can tell I don't use it much. Um, and yeah, roughly around forty bucks Canadian Tire. So if you're interested, just uh, make sure you air it out, uh, so it's not accumulating moisture on the inside and on the underside. Because if there's like uh, uh, condensation in your tent. And it soaks in on the bottom. You might not notice it. So just move it every morning. Take it out. Let it blow around the wind. And you should really do that with any foam filled sleeping pads. Like, share, and subscribe.